this is framed in the capacity of AEW's next television deal, right? And is it better to take one step back or two steps back and one step forward as opposed to, you know, maybe one step forward? I don't know. My analogy is strained there. I apologize for that. But, you know, is the next deal a dynamite and maybe one hour rampage like product for three years to really compact who was an important player on the roster? Have you as Tony Khan feel how many top men and women and tag teams you need? to fill out three hours of can't miss content week in and week out. And then, you know, Hey, this is how I structure the roster a lot like WWE has done, right? They typically have three top guys on each show that rotate around that, um, that world title scene for each show for the women, two and two tag teams, one, maybe dominant team at the time with other teams on the horizon, right? The, uh, the ebb and flow. So now that that's a perfect equation and you don't want, I don't, I don't think Tony Khan does either, wants AEW to be a clone, a cheap imitation of WWE. But there's a way to structure any sort of company, right? If you look at, let's say, an NFL team, right? Most of them typically have two to three quarterbacks, um, you know, three running backs, five or six wide receivers, you know, go down the list, right? The rosters are constructed of similar types of players per position, right? You have seven offensive linemen that dress in a game because five play at any given time. If one gets hurt, you need one that can go in and play guard and tackle, one that can play guard and center if that guy gets hurt, right? So there are things that you can mimic, and you can have a completely different style of gameplay. You can be a heavy run base team. You can be a spread passing team, right? I don't think anyone would – you know, confuse the Carolina Panthers this past season with the Kansas City Chiefs, right? The best and worst team in the league have different mentalities, different types of players, but they structure their roster in similar ways based on the number of players, right? So all that being said is a three, let's say three hours a week plus eight pay-per-views a year. If we're, if you're in that zone for the next, let's say 25, 26 and 27, the calendar years, that is, if that's your structure, you know what you need. And then if you do want to expand to that additional show in 28, let's say I'm just doing a random three-year TV deal here. Maybe it's five, whatever. But you know then what you need to make another successful show. And you need that first show, Dynamite, to be so chucked full of good talent that people are complaining that talent doesn't have time to get on the show, independent of the way you book things, right? So the reason I bring all this up is, again, Fightful. I want to give them the shout out. Um, they've got all the ratings for Collision since its debut, but I just want to start um, for calendar year 2024. And, uh, you know, so we're just going to run down shows, not tell you the dates, but there have been, I don't know, 12 or 13 or so. 402,000, 400,000, 441, 300, 404, 491, 385, 455. 427 on the 9th of March. Um, I don't know if it might be out like just as I'm recording here. I don't know if Saturday's number has come out um, as of yet, but I'm going to assume it's in the low fours, high threes. Um, so again, four, 402, 400, 441, 300, 404, 491, 385, 455, 427, right? So you have found your current viewership for Collision. It's about half that of Dynamite. Um, So what are you gaining in the show long-term, right? And this is all from the perspective of the TV deal that is yet to be signed, as far as we know, with Tony Khan and Warner Brothers Discovery, if they are so inclined to do so. But, um, you know, from the portion of Tony Khan, are you willing to take a third less to make your product viable and compelling for three hours a week? Or do you take that extra hundred million dollars over the course of a few years to have a show that a lot of people don't talk about? um, Not a lot of people watch and it seems to water down your brand in a way that is not compelling for you as a business owner, right? 